Capricorn. Hello. Welcome back to the Tarot Closet. Welcome. If you're new to the channel, thank you so much for joining me. I really appreciate you taking time. I have to fix this <laughs> out of your life to, yeah, be here with me today for your love tarot reading. Capricorn, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, Signs. Welcome to your love tarot reading here at the Tarot Closet with me, Chris. Before we get into your reading, I would like to invite you to like today's reading and subscribe to the channel if you have not. This helps so much more than you know so that I can continue growing. I have to fix this again. <laughs> and continue bringing more readings to you. So thank you very much in advance for that. Down below, you will find the tarotcloset.com. I do offer private readings. I, unfortunately, at the moment for online bookings, I am full, so they are closed. But if you are interested, you can follow the link down below to the tarotcloset.com. And yeah, you can just browse around if you want and contact me. But you can also go to the book, uh, book a reading link and it will give you a chance there to just put in your email to sign up for the wait list. Okay, also down below, I will link all the decks that come in to the reading today. You can find all the playlists, all zodiac signs, messages from your person, messages from your spirit guides, no contact, and or in separation, pick a cards as well, of course, twin flame readings, very long and very in depth. If you are on a twin flame journey, there is something for everyone there. Uh, you might also not be, and maybe you're just curious. So anyway, they're down below. And as with all my readings, all readings are timeless and they're meant for you when you arrive. So hello, <laughs> if this is real time and hello, if this is weeks, months, even years later, the draw to a reading or a reading, just something popping up in your life in general, it's not a coincidence. It's because there is something there. And as for readings go, it can be that a reading feels really personal, you know, that it's just really meant everything is resonating or a lot of it. it can also be that there's just particular things or there's just one message you needed to hear that day. So welcome, by the way, good morning, <laughs> good afternoon, good evening, whatever time of day that is, wherever you are, I want to show you what is here. Wow. Okay, so... Let's get into your reading, but before we do, look look how beautiful. I just want to remind you, it's a general love tarot reading, general tarot reading, so please take what is for you and let the rest go. Energies, outcomes, they can, they will, and they do change. The future is not fixed. The Nine of Pentacles, Virgo, and Mercury energy, lots of details around this connection. And also Mercury, it's the planet of the mind, the planet of communication. Um, also, <laughs> the Naked Heart. We'll talk about this in just a moment. It's kind of like a wild card, guys. It's number 22, so things are still, I want to say, in transition. Somebody here is thinking about second chances, whether that is currently or up something way down in the future. It can't even be simply just connecting, getting a message to you, saying something that they've wanted to say to you. It can be reunion energy. It's, you know, let's just see where things are going, guys. But the Nine of Pentacles, again, this is Virgo and Mercury energy. And this is a lot of good things coming to you. It's the first thing I want to say. You can see the flamingo here is, is balancing on a pentacle. So I do feel like this is a particular person on your mind and it can be that in this connection because I want to tell you with the naked heart, I'm feeling that somebody is still in their ego, Capricorn, as much as they feel for you. Look at this beautiful, red, passionate heart. I mean, it's the heart. <laughs> you know, what else can I say? It's love. It's adorned also with these roses, which are also love. They're not colorful so you know they're, they're it's kind of like it's black and white when you think of that saying you know things are not black and white they're sort of an in-between yeah there's things going on in this connection that are a little unclear still we see a divine trinity here we see the moth which is you know kind of sometimes associated with the death card don't worry about that that's bringing in scorpio energy by the way that's also bringing in pluto energy and the thing about Pluto energy is 
you know, it's connected to mushrooms for me. <laughs> and that is, it causes things like, for example, fires, forest fires, you know, and that's nature's way of setting things right or timing, you know, it, it's a destroyer fire. It comes in and it gets, burns it all down. And in due time, that ground becomes more fertile. A lot of seeds spreading, blowing around. Mushrooms are some of the first that pop up. That's the Pluto energy and that's regenerative energy. So it's kind of stronger than it was before. And so this moth, interesting, it, it brought in the death card for me. And that's turning these, I, I feel like these roses, which have no color, into, well, yeah, roses with color and growth and whether that's even just talking again. But we're also seeing four there. And that's, for me, the four areas of support and stability. So a look which has showed itself below, we're going to we're gonna have to look at it, which can be, yeah, that something's not lining up for somebody. And I do feel like it's kind of connected to their mentality or their emotions because this, there's a little bit of ego still here that I'm feeling, but what they're thinking in the back of their mind is, will they ever see you again? Because there's it's transitional. That's also the death energy. It's changes. Things are beginning. Things are, you know, growing behind the scenes. Things, yeah, can be that somebody's also going through something in their life that there's changes going on, okay? But rebirth, transformational energy comes through for me. And it is something this person is thinking about. Timing-wise, and they're thinking about this. That's what I wanted to say. And for me, to, this is the Nine of Pentacles. So it's bringing in love and it's maybe traveling with you. And yeah, it's abundance here. But, you know, the flamingo does balance on one foot and it does it pretty good. So I feel like this person is in something kind of holding things together. Interesting energy to come through with the Nine of Pentacles. Nine is a number of fruition, attainment, you know, something coming toward you, I want to say. So yeah, it can be that this is the message here today. There's messages that your someone wants to send through to you and it can be that things are gonna be changing. Let's see, but I do want to uh, take this out because, whoa. Okay, so this is how the reading is going today already. And I feel like these are, yeah, these are wanting to stay. This is how spirit, this is how spirit did the reading today or how, the reading is beginning. It's the Eight of Wands. This is not surprising. It's Mercury in Sagittarius energy. And look, it's <laughs> not surprising. Capricorn, it's a little goat here. And sort of running alongside of the Wands, which is the energy of love. It's the idea of love. It's Mercury in Sagittarius. So thinking about hearing from your person, your person thinking about writing you, it's... It's Mercury is the planet of the mind. It's the planet of communication. So it's like somebody's just thinking about, it's moving in their mind what they want to say, okay? Is it all catching up and coming? Let's see, guys. And, you know, they're not predictions, but it did come through that they want to say a lot to you. So that can be the case that it's in an actual message. This is a validation for me. And it written because generally Mercury is writing and reading, but it can even be voice and it can't even be that it's just coming through here and it comes through a written, um, a love message. It can be coming through in a channeled song message, which I'm feeling really drawn to today for you today. But it's on their mind and it's Sagittarius energy, which is really fast, fiery energy, that fire that we were talking about. So for me, eight is an action number. It's, you know, getting things done, accomplishing something. They want to say something to you. They um, maybe want to write you a message. Okay, and maybe that's coming through here today. Yeah, that can also be the case because we do, we, as you know, I have messages from their higher self. And I just had a little bit of a vocal sort of breath here. That's the fiery energy. And we're going to talk about that. Look, it's the spirit of wants as well. Yeah, this is, I feel like, a message, guys, and on somebody's mind. And it can be coming out of nowhere. That's the thing. Um, yeah, <laughs> look what it just showed when I... <laughs> okay, so this is how your reading is going today. This is interesting. I don't know that I've ever had a reading go this way. I think this is right. And if it's not, it, anyway, it's, it's what wants... It's how it wants to be. There's the wand again, and this little gecko can... 
withstand the heat. You know, it's fast moving around. It's also in the heat. It's sort of like, yeah, like a fire, like it's getting away, but it's still around and it's partnered here. It's more of that energy, you know, the coloring in this deck, but this energy for me, look, it's sort of like these little um, labyrinths, these little squirrely things. <laughs> I know that's not really articulate, but here meeting with the fox, which can be kind of sneaky and also quite fast um, on their feet and generally is living, you know, in the forest connected to the earth. That's the earth energy. There's the wand kind of sitting over here to the side in the spirit of wands. It's this person thinking, I feel about this message. Guys, this is the message. This, somebody has something they really want to say to you. They're a little in their ego right now. That's <laughs> it's such a strange feeling. These, these cards are so interesting because it's... Yeah, what comes through is just really, it's always going to be different in a reading, but it's so incredibly different. And this person is thinking about some kind of new start, you know, just even if it's just apologizing, they miss you, Capricorn. They're just still in their ego. Something's not lining up in the four areas of support and stability, mental, emotional, physical, and spiritual. But, but they're thinking about this message. Here it is. And it's one there. It's the energy of love. It's the idea of love. And it's one one. It's new beginnings. It's potential, but it's also taking the opportunity. You know, it's this gecko kind of up against the wall here at any moment. Could grab that. <laughs> um, is this like a, also kind of a standoff in some ways? It sort of, for me, is like your person's ego. And it's coming here in the partnership placement of who's going to get that wand first. So Capricorn, are you moving on? Do you have other love interests? Has somebody been kind of keeping an eye on that to see what is... And they're seeing perhaps that there's other other love around you, something new or someone that you're connecting with that you're posting or simply just a lot of confident energy. And I wouldn't be surprised at all. Yeah, guys, this is just, this is also doing something that I feel that this reading needs to do. This is just bringing in, I don't know, let's see if it's happening again. But I feel like that this is how I'm supposed to do this reading today. <laughs> Obviously, it's already happening this way that this belongs here. It's the three of wands. It's more of that fiery energy and it's the sun and it's in, it's the sun in Aries. And this is somebody who wants to move forward. You know, it's in, it's the energy of love. It's the idea of love. It's in connection with this person. Here's the thing about the sun. The sun is connected to the crown chakra. It's also the source, God goddess, universe, the divine spirit, all those things. And it needs to be, you know, it's the conscious. It needs to be um, put on the moon, you know, the full moon energy and lighting up the subconscious and seeing everything. So you got to have the sun. And the sun here with this energy, with these three wands, this three is a divine, it's divine timing, it's growth. So somebody, and you need that sun, you know, to, to see a lot of things and for things to grow, as we talked about also, after that, Pluto energy has come through and destroyed things. And communication as well, and out of nowhere communication for me. And this can be, yeah, just wanting, when I say collaborative, it's because of talking, okay? And expansive in the sense that there's just a lot that they want to say, and maybe that will change things, maybe it won't, but you're really on their mind, it's really strong for me. This can be physical travel and it's here and look what it brought in. Oh my gosh. Yeah. So this is how this is going. Um, we're going to look at this in a minute and see what, <laughs> what spirit has um, as a plan. But divine timing. Yeah. It's you, your person. Look connected here. The energy of love. These wands are connected. And these are our staffs, by the way, connecting us to the magician. So you both have one. That's bringing in Gemini Virgo energy, by the way. And it's either neither here nor there again when I'm bringing in these energies. But more Mercury energy on each other's mind, planet of the mind, planet of communication. Maybe there are messages you're looking at, your person sending, unsending. A lot of communication behind the scenes in each other's, in your heads, <laughs> is what I want to say to you. And strangely, bringing in the magician because you both have that wand. And again, it's three of wands. You know, this is the sun in Aries. But for me, I don't know. It's just strange. What's, this is what's coming through today. And 
it is that as above, so below energy of manifesting, wanting each other back, but think or at least even just to talk. And when I say that, what I heard is back in each other's lives. This person really misses having you in, in their life. I feel like you miss them too, but there's a little more, um, I, what is the word that I want to say, guys? <laughs> it's eluding me right now. Yeah. You're just, you're kind of, there's a hangman energy that's coming through for me today. It's just a really strong period of uncertainty. Nobody's really acting. There's some indec indecisive energy, which we see. It's a time will tell. And there's a little bit of a power struggle is what I wanted to say. Um, yeah, so you might be just kind of stepping back saying, yeah, okay, okay. And maybe for some of you, like I said, there's other love interests around and it's stressing this person out, I feel. Be interesting if we see the Ace of Wands in reverse. I kind of feel like we will, but today is just a, all my readings are highly intuitive. And you know, if you watch my readings, you know, but it's, it's a different kind of reading today. It's interesting. So it just doesn't even really matter, I feel like, because your messages are really, really, really strong here. Can it be that there's maybe other love interests or things that are in the way? Work, love. Yeah, I mean, it's a three that can happen. It can be that there's third parties, you know, and that can be in the way of love. Um, excuse me, guys, my hands are really extra dry today. <laughs> love, um, a passion for work, passion, you know, in a uh, physical nature. Let's just leave it at that. Uh, whatever that is, or, and that's the other thing too, um, in particular, in any way, if your person is, if they're an earth sign, it might be this double whammy, even another Capricorn that, you know, there's a really strong connection to family. And that's going to be, you know, I feel that's for you anyway. So anyway, <laughs> that message coming through, I was not really hearing it very clearly. Maybe it will come back. But here's the Two of Swords, which wanted to show itself. And this is Libra energy. It's the moon in Libra energy. And look, you're still connected here. Again, I'm quite tied together. It's bringing in devil card energy for me. It's this, yeah, divine connection. Look at the feathers. The swords are quite sharp. You know, sword energy is transactional. It's getting clarity and relationships. But it can also be somebody was saying some things that were that were really hurtful and we see here the anchor hanging and this for me is oh gosh you guys this is really the energy of this connection that i'm reading it's it's like this is what it is you're both here you're both uh strong there's a little bit of ego going on there's a little bit of a battle i feel the ego here so it can be both of you it's the first placement a lot of love okay something happened here it was really uh yeah, it was a destroying energy in some ways with the fire and the Pluto energy that I keep feeling today. But it's kind of like suspended here. Look, it's like you're both here, but that anchor is just dangling. Like what's going on? Is it going to be lowered? Is it going to go down and go deep? Are there going to be some emotional conversations? Is it going to go down so things feel safe? Because around that pentacle energy which is your energy capricorn and possibly your person it doesn't matter whatever it is it's something that you need you need that grounding you're an earth sign you know that is just you need the sun you need the, you know we all need everything but you particularly you really need the sun and you need that water you need the this the emotional energy the the decisive energy of the sun you know the crown chakra somebody knowing and wanting to work things out and grow things and it's just dangling here, you know, and it's that gray we talked about, the in-between. This is what we're seeing. And it's a stuck energy. That is what it is. And it's a de decisive, it's it's a, making a decision, but I'm feeling the indecisive energy. For me, this is a spinner, if not even in, in the uh, reversal energy, because it's a, yeah, there's a confusing energy. There's an indecisive energy. And there might be, it might be that you are in different situations. So there's really just no chance for seeing each other. Take that as it resonates, but it's really spinning for me. And this decision, what is that? I don't know that there's really any decision being made other than just kind of what's mulling around in people's minds and hearts, you know, but this needs to be a way more decisive energy in the timing. Divine timing is super big here in order to lower this. So it's not just dangling here. It's it's almost like that it is dangling in the divine. Look, it's right next to the moon. It's not even near the water. So 
it's this person might be emotionally holding back. You know, it's not like, it's not even that we see the ship and the direction it's going. We don't see the divine. We don't see the emotional energy. It's like, it's up here, um, up here in the air energy. And that's what this is. It's Libra energy. You know, it's, it's air, it's Libra, but that's like lack of clarity and less emotion. I want to say the emotion is there, but it's just up here suspended. So this can be somebody who was not emotionally giving, but also still kind of isn't. And there is a little bit of this going on. I feel like you're holding back too because of it, you know? I mean, yeah, somebody's not giving in a connection and it's swords too, by the way, it's triggering, it's conflicting energy. It's some mirroring if you're on a twin flame journey, that won't be for everybody, but you kind of trigger each other. <laughs> and when things work, they really work. You're like, an emperor and an empress energy for me. You guys just, you know, get along well. You, you laugh at the same jokes. You know, you enjoy the same things. But when you're not, it's like it's conflicting all your similarities, you know. And then you kind of, somebody needs to step out of that and say, okay, I'm going to give some emotions here. Or I'm going to be decisive about this. And because this person is not, you're, it's like a reflection of that. It's the mirroring energy. So you're not either. So it's like this back and forth thing. And this is how it is going today. Oh, it's really goosebumpy because this is how your reading wants to go today. And I feel like this is where this is going. So I'm putting this here. Yeah. Okay. And leaving this here. I don't think I've ever in all my years of um, reading and also channeling as you know I'm a psychic medium have ever had cards behave this way but this is how your readings going and it doesn't surprise me because Capricorn your readings are always very yeah they're always very chilling and goosebumpy and have just yeah <laughs> I'm just very connected in your readings I want to say so it's the movement of wands and it's coming in reverse look it's like the um, night energy and it's, this is this is just not surprising to me at all. It's more Wands energy. This is this reading just couldn't be any more clear. It's Leo energy, and it's somebody who is in a little bit of chaotic energy, and I feel like that's in their mind. It could also be in their life, but it's impulsive energy. And I thought it might come through somehow, some way, but that's where I was feeling. Also the energy of the Ace of Wands, which is, I thought I would see it in reverse because this is a difficult connect, disconnection is what I wanna say. And this person left you, I feel feeling really rejected. A knight can be a messenger, you know, a knight is um, also just moving forward, but then you don't really know where they're moving forward. You know, so you see this, it's the fox and there's the fox and the wand again here in the spirit of wands, you know, and it's like, all right, thinking about it, Who's going to get to that wand? Which direction? There's a lot of details involved. So I do feel like there's other connections or pe people or passions. And family does come through really strong from both ends, I feel like. And then here we see that fox and that wand. And look, here, here again, you know, it's like almost resembles a tree. You know, like the... If you were to an earth, you know, this is not earth energy, but you're in it. It's, you know, and maybe your person too, if they're an earth sign, but whatever, it's not the point. It's like you, when you cut it and you see all the years and the growth and where things were really strong, look, and where things were not. And it's on sort of, look, it's on one, two, three, four. Interesting. So that can represent for some of you four days, four months, four years, uh, whatever. It's not the point, but it's also the four areas of support and stability, mental, emotional, physical, and spiritual. We see some times here, I feel like that past that are, or maybe upcoming that are really deep, look, and getting better. But this for me, this is the wand. So it's the energy of love. It's the idea of love. It's the fast movement. It's impulsive energy. Okay. Even in reverse here, in fact, it's more so in reverse for me, but it's also that staff again, you know, here that magical staff look and it's kind of sharp you know there's there's one two three four five six so that does bring in venus for me also somebody needing to apologize and also kind of wanting to make peace and just rebalance things but that's also yeah bringing in venus the planet of love and it's in reverse and 
you know, night energy sometimes for me can be like spinners because, you know, the movement's always changing. Energy's outcomes change. Everyone has free will. And, and you know, you can get distracted and go this way and that way and stop and, and have an injury and not be able to move anymore. Or if you're, if you're a, for example, a knight of wands, you know, maybe you um, drop your wand and you got to stop and get it or you can't find it, whatever. It's the Knight of Wands in reverse. So, yeah, it's an impulsive energy for me. And I'm going to show you what's here. Oh, we just saw that too. Oh, yeah, look. So, yeah, so I want to show you this. It's the Ace of Swords. Look at this black swan. And, okay, it's really wanting to show all of this. So I'm going to show it to you. And then we're going to talk a little bit of what's here. And then we're going to move on to some Oracle. It's the Ace of Swords. And it's coming in reverse. Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. So yeah, this is somebody who's stressed like about the connection and wants to talk but isn't sure that they can or there's still a little bit of a standoff. Like, can they tell you how they feel? Can they be honest? Because there's a dishonesty that comes through with this, okay? And it's somebody who just made the bad decisions. I, I see the lover's card in reverse. It's somebody who has regret for things that they, the way they behaved, decisions they made and decisions they didn't made, make, excuse me. And this Ace of Swords is somebody who's mentally, it's the little bit of the chaotic energy that I feel that's coming through here, guys, with the Knight of, of the movement of wands in reverse. It is that, yeah, it's a little bit of chaotic energy with this person because they have a lot to say to you, but there's a lot of ego here. So they need to get over their ego first and possibly they're in some situations. You know, it's going to be different for everybody, but it's somebody who's not being honest. So it can be about a situation, something that happened. I feel more like it's about how they feel about you and it stresses them out and they know they made bad decisions here and that they need to upright this. Look at their little passionate nose looking down here. I want to show you the upright and yeah, I may have said something, not said something. I feel like it's some ghosting also. And maybe some things were said that were just not really, that were just coming off as cold. You know what I mean? So the black and white again is real clear in the sword, you know? And it's sort of like, yeah, but it's not black and white I hear. It's, you know, there's a middle ground here. It doesn't have to be so extreme, but it does feel extreme in this this person's really blocked. And that's what I wanted to show you to look at the shark. So the, something was said here that was really hurtful or even not said. The shark just simply um, swam away. And it's the five of swords. And it's coming in reverse. And this is Venus and Aquarius energy. That's the planet of love. The planet of, you know, the planet of love. What can I say? This is wanting to make peace here, guys. This is somebody who wants to restore some justice and say, yeah, you were right. I wasn't being honest. Or, yeah, you're right. I do feel this way. And I did do this. That's what you want to hear. And that's what's coming up here when, you know, is the question. And we see the conflicting energy with the Five of Swords. And it's the Five of Swords, you know, and there's a shark. It's not like the blue whale, which accidentally hurts people. It's the shark. You know, they, they say things. And sometimes they might think that you're edible. <laughs> this is going to sound funny, but you know, a shark is in there in their territory swimming around and, you know, and they, they might take a bite out of, you know, a, a, something thinking it's a seal and go, oh yeah, it's not. Um, they intentionally, and sometimes they, they can be aggressive. So they sometimes miss, um, there's like miscommunications or they're maybe even misinterpreted or they'd say something they don't mean. That's what I want to say. Kind of like, hi guys, something. sorry about the camera there. Um, yeah, but then they can also do it and know it, you know, and they bite it and go, okay, this isn't a seal, but I'm going to eat it anyway. You know, so it's somebody who it may have been unintentional. And either way, this person has regret and they feel bad about it, but they're yeah, they're just struggling with their ego and possibly another situation. I'm keeping it like this now, guys, um, because I'm going to bring in some more coal, but I want to talk a little bit. Interesting that the Nine of Pentacles came below the Eight of Wands here in this goat, <laughs> Capricorn, because, again, it's the balancing on that pentacle and what they think about the opportunity when to come and what was missed. Like something that wasn't realized between the two of you or wasn't, oh my gosh, it's doing it again, the Nine of Wands. That's right, I actually said that I was going to look at that because I'd already kind of seen it. Yeah, that's Sagittarius energy. This is your person keeping still up the boundaries. 
And that's why, and that's also why Spirit just led me there because it's the Nine of Pentacles. It's like it's coming, you know, it's everything. It's love. It's what I'm thinking. I want to restore this balance here and this love with this beautiful flamingo who lives, you know, in the emotional energy, but they only have one foot in there, guys. And that's really indicative of this person's energy of, of disconnecting from their emotions. This person is a lot more... Um, in this connection or just in their life right now or was in the connection, yeah, it was the opposite. It was hurtful, okay? And it's connecting here because, look, that's what I wanted to show you. It's mon monkeying around, so maybe there were some games. <laughs> it's not necessarily true, though. Um, but the monkey can travel kind of fast, you know, around these these trees here, these wands, which, again, are, are staffs. We sometimes forget that, you know, but it's the energy of love. It's passionate. There's kind of blocking things here. You know, this is the moon in Sagittarius energy. So they're afraid they're not really seeing everything or they just don't want to. This is what's going on in their mind for me. And it connects here also with the Three of Cups. This is Cancer and Energy. And that's your complete opposite, Capricorn. But you guys also have a really great connection. It's soulmate energy for me. Um, and not just because of the Cancer energy that comes through anyway because the Magician made its way in. And I just feel it here. And for some of you, it's a twin flame energy. It's not for everybody, but look, it's playful. Somebody, you know, this is soul contract. Yeah, could it be three parties? It's pretty clear it could be. Uh, the, the emotions they feel for you are a lot stronger than they're letting on. And this is a little bit of arrogant energy. It's weird, but, you know, it's kind of looking to the side and sort of like, look at me. <laughs> you know, ego energy is what I want to say. Ego, ego based you know, fear, ego, maybe something else going on. But this is what your person thinks about. That's what I want to say. And yeah, it's this whole contract here. It's cancer and energy. It's really emotional and it's mercury. And that's the planet of the mind, the planet of communications. It's a lot of what they're thinking. And it can also be about communication here with these three cups and emotional communication. So they're thinking about what they would want to say to you. And when they think about you, it is an emotional energy. And they, I feel like when you guys were connecting, there was a lot of laughing and just a really beautiful connection, Capricorn. There's just really no other way to put it here. And... A lot more emotions than they show you. Look, there's the waves. And we know that underneath there, there's a little shark. <laughs> you know, we, have, we all have our little shark, don't we? And sometimes we accidentally take a bite and think it's a seal. And sometimes we say, all right, I'm going to eat it anyway because I'm hungry. So <laughs> it's just this energy of maybe they couldn't help themselves or they had to disconnect. And they didn't mean to hurt you. And the Ten of Cups showing itself. Do I think this is you guys coming together? It's, it's a new cycle. It's Pisces energy. It's all love and family. I don't see that now, okay? I feel like this person has a lot of block chakra and can't even be that they're in another situation and they're kind of with their family now. This can also be you, but that's not going to be for everyone. I feel like this is more of that energy connecting of what they want and what you've both thought about, whether it was happening already and got disrupted or it was just dreamy energy you talked about because it is Pisces energy, you know, or you even, um, it just didn't get realized, you know, but it's still here. It's still like only time will tell energy. And this rainbow of these chakras is the hope coming in and it's the crystals, you know, which are... Um, sometimes deflecting and, and um, you know, manipulating light, manipulating how things are seen, seeing them better than what they are. And that might be some of your energy or even taking something that doesn't look so great, and, you know, or something that looks not so great and making it look better. You know, it's sort of, yeah, it's the past, it's the present, it's the potential future, or even just saying, yeah, it was never realized, New cycle, even again, if it's just this person wanting you to send these message, wanting to send these messages through to you and say these things to you, you know. Um, today, I need to get a little bit more here with these cards. Let's bring in some oracle. No, that's way too many. Before we do, I just realized, guys, <laughs> I'm so, I've been so late with overall energies, but it doesn't matter. It doesn't really influence anything. It's just going to validate or maybe it'll bring in something new. 
Thank you, spirit guides, angels, and ancestors. Can we have an overall energy for Capricorn? And Capricorn's person, look. It showed it came in the upper right. It's Cancer and energy. It's the high priestess. Let's see. Maybe it's theirs. Maybe they're both theirs. Maybe they're mixed. But yeah, this is because I kind of feel like this is in reverse, excuse me, for your person. It's major arcana. It's divine feminine energy. It's in reverse. It's cancer and energy. It's kind of secrets. It's some mystery. It's somebody not saying something possibly. I kind of feel like it's your person's energy in reverse. This is somebody who's blocked and they're not really, it's like blocked insight, you know, blocked within themselves. It's kind of spinning um, here. And maybe there's a decision that you're trying to make, you know, Capricorn, and it can be even between two loves here. And that did come through for some of you. That won't be for everyone. But you're also both here. Look, there's the black and white again in this little, very different deck. You know, of course, it's the high priestess energy. It's a whole another thing going on here. Thank you, spirit guides, angels, and ancestors. Can we see Capricorns? Okay, I want to show, oh, wow. <laughs> yeah, and I want to show you the Nine of Wands showed itself and also, I don't generally look down, but when I do, it's because there's a message. The Hermit was also there, Virgo. So somebody needing or maybe in getting some clarity, trying to figure things out. It can be both of you or one of you. This is what came down for your person's overall energy, it's the Three of Swords and it's Saturn. Again, just jacking everything up, you know, causing some problems and some miseries. And yeah, and Saturn is your ruling planet and it's very slow moving and it's in reverse. So this person wants to apologize. There's healing that's been going on. I feel like for some of you, this is healing that's been going on for a long time or it could just feel that way for some of you. But this is somebody who is sorry. I thought I would see the lover's card in reverse of the regret that they have. Um, this It came through in the Three of Swords today. Yeah, and obviously it wasn't upright at some point. There was the heartbreak. And that might be for some of you even a divorce. It's not going to be for everybody. But it's in reverse here, guys. And this is somebody who's sorry. And you've been healing. So maybe you're saying, yeah, well, okay, but I, I need to... I need to kind of move on. And maybe they're seeing that because kind of got a little bit of a vibe of new love. It's not going to be for everyone or someone in your life here, but they're picking up on your energy is what I want to say. And there's apologetic energy here. Does this mean they're coming right here with it? Well, no, we've already gone through the reading, but it's there. It can simply be that this is the message, you know? Um, I want to show you this. Look, interesting. Oath. Um, it says coming to... 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, <laughs> I always have to count, 14, the four years of support. And stability, look, taking an oath. So this might be somebody who has a, can even be military base, but it can be somebody who has a commitment somewhere here. Yeah, gosh, I wasn't expecting to see that. I kind of feel like I need to do this. Excuse me, guys. It's um, it's a newer deck. And yeah, so we'll see. How, well, we'll see how it goes. I've been reading and playing with them and cleansing them and doing all kinds of things. But <laughs> let me just get a little bit more of. Okay. Thank you, spirit guides, angels, and ancestors. Please show us the card of cards as it may be. Aho. It's kind of um, actually, it's sort of like sharp. Interesting deck to have chosen. Things said, painful, hurting you without meaning to, like the sharp's teeth. Oh my gosh, you guys. Chapter one, the end, conclusion. Interesting. But I got to tell you, it's a spinner for me. And this is also connecting to that death card energy that we felt in their ego. So is this the end of their ego? For me, this is not the conclusion of this connection. Maybe some of you say, yeah, but it is for me. It's the con I feel like it's the end of separation. Look, quite literally, the apology, even if it's just talking or just to connect, ending it, even if it's right back out, maybe the end of their ego, but I feel like it's not there yet. It's a three again. That's the divine, divine timing. It's growth. It's communication. Yeah, so maybe some of you say, yeah, so it's over for me. Maybe that's yours because we see that this high priestess energy that there's things you're still trying to figure out, you know, and trusting yourself and your intuition in this connection. But I also felt very early on that this person is 
yeah, needing to get, get over their ego so that this anchor can go down, even if it's just to go to the very bottom and stop it, stop the ship for a moment and get get real, go into some emotions with you. And a message is what I feel. There's the oath now coming in reverse. So this can be connecting to the past energy with the two of you. Whoa, here's what I thought I would see with your person. We were seeing it. It's the high priestess of earth. This can also be you. My gosh, you guys, and it's, it's in reverse. This is the blocked energy that I felt. Yeah, so it's here. And it's... Um, the growing, it's the earth. Look, you look at it here and it's like high priestess of earth, trusting and in divine timing, being ready to communicate and move things forward, whatever that's going to mean. Look, there's the leaf of change. There's the moon. It's kind of hard. Um, this almost looks like a trumpet to me, but it could also look like a spade from cards. It also kind of looks like a trumpet, doesn't it? Which would be making peace. There's almost, I see like an ear. Anyway, um, upright. Anyway, either way. I mean, for me, this is kind of, well, it's Cancer and energy, but it's also bringing in Capricorn, Virgo, and Taurus energy, you know? And it's coming in reverse. And that's this person's energy of the timing. And maybe just not mature enough, not getting over their ego, not trying to communicate, but not being ready. That's interesting. And then, yeah, <laughs> because ready for what? I'm going to put these down because we're going to get some messages from the higher self. It's the moon. Look, there's that little protective energy that we see. This for me is like a queen of wands kitty. Look, there's the moon there on here too. It's not quite full yet. You know, the like a tattoo on the kitty. <laughs> And this is like a Queen of Wands kitty energy for me within this moon card, which is, you know, kind of protective energy and keeping some secrets. And there's the moon, which is showing everything. So it's like, oh, okay. Um, if it were upright, I would say to you, actually, no. But here's the thing. And this is what they want. It's like the moon in reverse energy for me. By the way, it's Pisces, but Gemini and Cancer also coming through. A lot of emotional energy that they're hiding here. And for me, this is this person knows and they want to tell you the truth. Okay. They're just look, it's blocked here. Maybe not able to trust. Maybe they're not able to, to trust what they feel. And maybe they're physically or even in a message not able to say what they want to say, whether it's other people or just struggling mentally, because that comes through really strong. My gosh, you guys, and it's a five. It's the conflicting energy. It's also change. And this is also connecting to the fifth chakra, speaking the truth. And this is coming with the truth and having the clarity. It's the opposite. It's moving the queen of wands kitty, this nine of wands monkey, <laughs> out of the way and being open to it. But I just feel like it's still a process, okay? Um, I'm going to bring in some messages from their higher self and their little itty bitty ones today. And yeah, we're going to close your reading. Beautiful. Capricorn, what do you want to say to your Capricorn? Please show us the card, cards as it may be. What do you want to say? I am so lost without you. Where do I want to put this, guys? Where do I want to put this? I, I feel like that would be coming through in a message. Or, you know, ton of cops energy too. I really want to hold you. Some physical energy there. I dream of you. This is that Pisces energy that we talked about. I'm going to put this here. Not to cover up those beautiful crystals, but it's three. So it's, oh, no, nope, it's four. Oh, but that one wanted to come out. Whoa. I love you. Okay. Yeah, apologetic energy. Lots to say. This person has a lot to say, but don't give up on us. They're not saying it. That's, oh, look, it, they're... That fell, so it made it three and said, can you take it now? <laughs> oh my gosh. This is generally kind of where I check. This is like, what's going on? The divine. I will never give up on us. Hmm. Yeah. So this is one of those energies. It's just a, it wasn't really validated so much in the cards of the strong spiritual connection, but I feel it here other than the three of cups, the soul connection. And that's really clear for me in soulmate energy so actually yeah it's been validated um but for some of you because i kept seeing the lover's card but i was seeing in re in reverse my world changed when i met you we will be together someday with the three of cups here with this soul connection 
This person you are meant to meet. So many songs remind me of you. Please never give up on us. That's right. I did say we would bring in some song messages. This is getting long, Capricorn. I still want you. You are so beautiful. Will you wait for me? You are my biggest wish. Last chance. That's it, guys. That's the end. What are you trying to show me in this card? Five of Pentacles in reverse. Yeah, this is hope returning, and it can also be. Um, I just feel like a connection somehow, a conversation. But look, somebody may have been going through a dark night of the soul. You or this person coming out of it. It's change again. It's possibly the truth. It's still, it's also healing, recovery energy. And for some of you, there might be new love. We already saw that. It just wanted to show itself. You know, sometimes I just have to, I, yeah, all the time. I have to go where I'm led. And that's how that happened. I'm going to let you see it, but I want to put these here today. Okay, last two. I fear you have moved on. <laughs> yeah, that's the possible new love for you, for some of you. Please wait for me. Okay, you guys, um, I'm just going to bring in quickly some uh, channeled song messages. It can be your song comes down. It can be that it doesn't. Okay, it's about the sentiment or the message, word, location, name. It could be things I don't even recognize. You could hate the song. <laughs> Never heard of it. It's not the point. If you feel like you're sending it, you're sending it. But the musical connection here is strong. I've been searching a long time for someone exactly like you. I've been traveling all around the world, waiting for you to come through. Someone like you, Van Morrison. In love, oh love, I'll be a fool for you. I'm sure you know I don't mind. Endless love, Diana Ross. But now they only block the sun. Oh, Capricorn, here we go. They rain, they snow on everyone. That's the high priestess in reverse. That's also the that's also the lover's card that I kept seeing. Somebody who has a lot of regret for decisions, things said, not said. It's the apology here. It's the indecision and the two of swords. It's uh, kind of everywhere here. It's the black and white. It's the gray in the middle, you know. It's the indecision. But now they only block the sun. They rain and they snow on everyone. So many things I would have done, but clouds got in my way. Both sides now, Joni Mitchell. If you're a regular viewer, you've probably heard it from me enough when this comes in your readings how special that is. And also to make sure you listen to Joni Mitchell's original version. It's about 50, 51 years old now. Um, a lot of you already know that. But just in case, <laughs> this is it. I'm No, actually, these. this is it. And then we're going to close your reading. It's such a shame for us to part. Nobody said it was easy, the scientist Coldplay. The first time ever I saw your face, I thought the sun rose in your eyes and the moon and the stars were the gifts you gave. First time ever I saw your face, Roberta Flack. As God is my witness, I try to be strong, but my twin, I'm on fire. Don't string me along, flame twin Nora Jones. So that's a, a validation for those of you on a twin flame journey. Interesting, as I said that, look, this um, obviously is an infinity symbol. That also brings in Libra. Um, a lot of things. Also, just forever love, you know, it's life force. So it's not just twin flame energy, but it's kind of like, like it's moving. It's on fire look. <laughs> I just thought that was interesting. These are the last two Then we're closing this really long, beautiful reading Capricorn. I could stay awake just to hear you breathing. Watch your smile while you are sleeping. While you're far away and dreaming, I don't want to miss a thing, Aerosmith. A lot of dreamy energy here. Yeah, this person does a lot more than, this is the thing. There's a lot of passion and emotions for you, but this is somebody who is just holding it back, but you're not seeing how when they're not. That's what I want to say. And that's been coming through for you for a really long time. The taste of love is sweet when hearts like ours meet. I fell for you like a child. Oh, <laughs> but the fire went wild. Ring of fire, Johnny Cash. Yeah, this is a really appropriate card for you. Beautiful Capricorn, I really enjoyed your reading today. Um, I always do, but it was just particularly fun and the energy. Beautiful reading. Thank you so very much for giving me time out of your day. I appreciate it a lot. 
If you enjoyed today's reading, please like the reading and subscribe to the Tarot Closet if you have not. This really helps so much more than you know so that I can continue growing and continue bringing you readings. Share if you feel inspired. Make sure you have your notifications on your real time as well so that you know when I'm going live. Guys, I'm trying to, to get my internet upgraded. I thought 5G was good enough, but my studio is down here below the very bottom level of the house, so I don't think it is. So I need to upgrade the internet, and I'm going to be going live regularly, so you're going to want to probably know about that, both for you and for the collective, a lot of things. So make sure you have those notifications on also so you know when your readings are coming. They're not always going to be for you every week. Maybe they are, maybe they're not every five to eight days or so, and also readings for the collective and lives for the connect collective, <laughs> connective, I almost said. Okay, thanks again. I wish you love, light, all things good. Have a beautiful day. Good morning, good afternoon, good evening, and, and Marseille, if you're about to eat a meal, as we say here in Austria, I will see you, I'll see you at another reading. Bye, Capricorn. <laughs>